Hi, my name is Sandeep and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product line and today we're going to talk about the Microsoft Active Directory adapter. We're going to be configuring the Microsoft Active Directory adapter on our grid manager and we'll be performing the post installation task on one of our peer where the Active Directory adapter will be hosted. As a prerequisite, uh, since the Active Directory adapter leverages the X command utility, you need to have the administrative privileges to copy the X command utility on the remote machine. Now let's move on to our grid manager. Let's add the adapter on the grid. Once the adapter is added to the grid, click on the configure button. Provide it some name. Provide the target name. Since my Active Directory server is sitting on the same server where my grid manager is or my CDP is, I'm going to be using the same name on the target. However, it can be different for you. We need to provide a temporary location where the adapter can copy files while it's performing some, uh, some command execution. <clears throat> This needs to be a valid directory in your uh, on, in your Windows peer where the adapter is hosted. Let's hit the OK button. Let's save the save the configuration. The changes are saved successfully. Let's activate the adapter on a peer. It looks like the adapter it's been successfully activated. Let's check its status. The adapter is online. Before we proceed any further, we would have to make certain changes, which is the part of the post installation task. So let me switch back to the CDP server and we'll, uh, we'll perform the post installation task. On start, and go to services.msc. Locate the BAO service. Right click on it, go to properties. We need to run the service with an administrative account. The information needs to be provided in an elevated format. Apply the changes. and restart the service. Once the service is online, uh, our adapter is completely configured and up and running on the grid manager. 
In the next video, we're going to use the out of the box RBA Active Directory module, and which would be utilizing this adapter to talk to the Active Directory. Thank you all for watching.